Welcome to the Yin Way. I'm Casey and for class today, we'll be focusing on a yin yoga sequence that is perfect to open your upper body. So I have a few postures that are great for the shoulders and the mid and the upper back. You don't need any special props for class. Just grab your mat and we'll get started by coming onto your front. So you're gonna lie on your belly and stretch your arms out to the sides. Now from here, we're going to roll to the left. So you're going to roll over to the left and you can either stay with your legs stacked on top of each other like this, or if you want it to be a little bit deeper, you'll just bring that right foot behind you and bring a little more sensation into the posture. So it's important here that you don't take it too far. You don't want to be hurting through the shoulder joint. You just want to be feeling a, a stretch and a release. And we're going to be here for a couple of minutes. So it's important that you're safe here in this posture. And you'll actually start to feel it more as, as the time goes on, as we hold it. And just see if you can relax your body into it if you're tensing through your neck. Maybe down into your legs to see if you can let go there so all of your muscles relax. In yin yoga, we, we target the connective tissue when we come into the postures. And connective tissue responds very well to, to more gentle, long holds. And so if you have a lot of tension in your shoulders and your, your upper back, this is going to feel pretty good for you. You can close your eyes if you want. Just relax into it even more. You may start to feel some heat being generated in the area that we're targeting. Make sure you're not experiencing any short, sharp pain. If you are, it's just a sign that you need to release out of the pose, be a little bit more gentle. And as one area releases, you may just start to feel the stretch move into a different area of the shoulder and the upper back. And then gently, you're just going to roll really slowly over onto your front. 
And then we'll do the same to the other side. So your right arm reaching out. And rolling over to the to the side. Just remember you're relaxing the legs, relaxing your face, really relaxing the whole of your body. And when we're, we relax the muscles, then it's easier to target the deeper layers of connective tissue. Just keep your attention on what you feel in your body, what you feel in that area that we're targeting in it. What that does is it keeps the mind engaged on, on what you're experiencing and on the present moment. And then carefully rolling yourself back to center and coming up onto your hands and knees. And from here, you want your knees as wide as your hips, so the hips and the knees are stacked. And we're going to walk the arms forwards. So for the moment, keeping the arms straight and long as you drop your forehead down onto the ground. And once you get there, you can soften the elbows, soften the arms. And just start to feel your chest and your heart drop down towards the mat. So as we hold it here for a few minutes, just allow the body to relax and you'll just start to feel the chest drawing a little further down to the mat. You should feel this through your mid and your upper back. It may feel quite strong in your shoulders or underneath your armpits. And you may just need to play around with the positioning of your arms. So you may need to take the arms a little wider or draw the arms a little closer. You just see what where feels best for you and where you're not in any pain or discomfort. And you can actually just allow your body to relax here.
can come back up onto your hands and knees slowly so you don't snap out of it and then we're going to come over down onto our backs and from here we're going to take a twist so you can hug your knees right into your chest and then we're just going to drop the knees over to the left so you want to roll right onto the side of your left hip you can even just shuffle a little so that you're right on the side and then you can reach and extend your right arm out and you'll just start to feel your chest and your shoulder drawing down to the ground and your body might look a lot different in this posture so if you've got a lot of tightness the shoulder might be quite high up as long as you're in no pain you can just allow the the shoulder to start dropping down or if you're in discomfort then just grab something maybe a cushion to just pop under your arm to support you. But just as I've been talking to in the other postures, really allowing the muscles to relax here. So there's no strain, no struggle. You can close your eyes and just relax. And relaxing can be the hardest thing of all for us to experience. That concept of slowing down and being mindful can be very challenging. But for so many of us, it's also what our bodies are craving, what we need in order to bring balance into our very busy lives. If you're in this posture and you're not feeling a whole lot, you feel like you just want something a little bit deeper, then you can actually just straighten that left leg back out to the front of the mat. And then it will just be the right knee that's hugging in. And it will feel a lot stronger for you. It'll get more, you'll get deeper into the, the mid back. And just start to notice your breath. You don't need to change your breath, but just begin to notice your inhales and your exhales. It's just such a simple tool to bring focus into our minds. You may notice that when you're in a posture, your mind can take you all kinds of places. And what that does is it takes us away from your life that's happening right now. It takes you away from the moment. So we just need to train the mind to keep coming back. And then we're going to come back to center and we'll do that on the other side. So you're either hugging both knees in or just your left knee and we're rolling over to the side. I'm just feeling the shoulder and the chest draw down, body relaxing into it. Just let your head rest where is most comfortable for you, where there's no strain. If you're new to the yin yoga practice, you'll be starting to realize how very different it is from other more yang styles of yoga. It 
but actually how they they complement each other perfectly. Yin yoga helps us to bring more flexibility into the body and keep our, our joints really healthy, really mobile. And then you're just going to come back to center and we're going to take a few moments relaxing the body. You can either stretch your legs out in front of you or if that doesn't feel good, if it's straining the lower back, just bend the knees, bring the feet onto the ground and let your, ro your knees roll together. Shuffle your shoulders down away from your ears. Take your arms away from you, turn your palms up and let your whole body relax. Starting in your face and then traveling all the way down your body into your toes. Just becoming aware of the gentle rise and fall of your belly. And allowing that rhythm to calm your mind. And it's not particularly that you're trying to completely get rid of your thoughts. That's a very challenging thing to do. But just allow your mind to become a little more still, a little quieter, and to not have those thoughts consume you, to not get lost in those thoughts. Now, when you tune deeply into your body, when you take your attention within, you may even be able to feel your body relaxing bit by bit. Your body will start to feel heavier on the ground. 